each of the Gospels goes back to a story. Matthew starts with Abraham at the beginning of his genealogy. Mark goes back to the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the wilderness, he quotes. Luke, in his genealogy, goes back to Adam in chapter 3. But John goes way back to before creation, before the Big Bang, to before 14 billion years to in the beginning was the word. Well, we say the peace of God passes all understanding, to quote St. Paul. But so does Christ's being. It is not easily explained, not simply defined by words or even by an experience. We pretend that we can talk about Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, Christ, as if we know what we're talking about. Yet most of the time we've no idea what we're talking about. We just need to sit back and wonder. We also say that Jesus is light. And it is interesting that we don't know actually what light is scientifically. It's one of the great questions of cosmology today. But having said all of that, we know that what we've read, what we've experienced and what we've heard is somehow life-giving. Something and someone has entered our realm of existence and we find it nourishing and darkness destroying. John says in this first chapter that many people have not bought into this. And that's for many reasons. It can be sheer obstinacy. But often it is the fault of religion as we've peddled it. But many though, says John, have collapsed into this being, here called the Word. This Word that can be sensed at all levels of life, all parts of the universe, and in any experience of life, whether that be good or bad, easy or difficult. First and foremost, faith is not about doing right, good or moral things. It's about us finding our place in what we might call God. And Jesus, of course, is the connection for us. So as we read this Gospel of John, are we drawn into what I call this saturation of graciousness and over-provision, which is a sense of John's uh, passage here? Or are we left in dry, performance-based religion? In John's Gospel, we will find that this is the difference between life and death.